All right, guys, let's review this new keto item and see if we like it. Let's get into it and see if it's healthy. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We get you on the grind and improve your mind every single video. So, guys, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. So, let's talk about this keto item that we're going to be reviewing and see if we like it and check out the ingredients, give you guys a taste test. Yeah, so it's Vienna chickpea snacks, specifically the, uh, the flavor for Himalayan pink salt. It looks cool. Um, we're going to try it out. It was in, you know, the, you know, the, the keto section of like a supermarket. So I'll have on the screen, the pictures of, you know, the front of it and also the ingredient labels and the nutritional facts and stuff. So we can read along together. So on the front here, it says it's grain free, vegan, gluten free, non GMO uh, verified. It's six grams of plant protein, six grams of fiber per serving. It's a value pack. It's 12 ounces, this bag. And so now we'll go to the back here, the nutritional facts. There's 12 servings per container. So the serving size is an ounce, which is 28 grams. Um, calories is 120. Uh, let's see. Total fat is 6 grams. Uh, there's no cholesterol. Sodium, 190 milligrams. Uh, total carbohydrate is 15 grams. Uh, dietary fiber is 6 grams. Total sugars is less than 1 gram. Zero grams of added sugar, six grams of protein per serving. Um, there's, let's see, calcium, 20 milligrams, potassium, 220 milligrams. So pretty much the 50 chickpeas of these uh, per serving is like 15 potato chips. Six grams of protein. And so in compare, it's comparing these to, to potato chips. So like there's six grams per serving here where potato chips would have two grams per serving, but potato chips are not good for you. Don't have those. It's also six grams of fiber, which is cool. All right. Uh, the ingredients, there's not a lot, so that's great. It's already a good start, but let's hope that the ingredients actually mean something. So let's see, it has chickpeas. It's got expeller pressed high oil, like sunflower or safflower oil. Not the greatest, honestly. And then pink Himalayan salt. So, Two, two out of, I think it is just three ingredients are great. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a 66%. That's, that's not, that's not, that's passing. It's, that's just barely making it. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of the oil they're using. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan uh, of the oil. I, I like the salt. Salt. And if the you're chickpea. on keto, I mean, good. You need salt, electrolytes, yeah. Uh, life. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Um, yeah, no, I honestly, other than the oil, like it's, I, it seems fine, but let's, uh, let's crack it open and let's, uh, let's try them out. And yeah, not too many carbs or anything. So that's a good thing. Hopefully this will not let me down. Yeah, so here to give you a chickpea. A solo. Down. Mike gave me a solo chick chickpea. So let me show you what Mike gave me. This is my serving size. This is well, what I'm allowed to have. This is what you're. Well, you're <laughs> technically a serving size is about an ounce, um, which is I think they say is about 50 chickpeas. Oh, so and I have one out of 50. So there's only like two, like what, three calories. So <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk home and I'm gonna burn this. Yeah. Good. All right, so All let right. me. Yeah, you try first. first. Let me know what you think. Salty. Tastes like nothing. Yeah. This is like pretzel. It's Salt, like, saltless like a, pretzel in a way. A saltless pretzel, yet it has so much salt on it. it. I do not sense salt. No? All right, my turn. Maybe something's wrong with me. I think something is wrong with you. I. It's not as much as like I would taste on a normal pretzel. But I do taste the salt. And I'm a guy who who consumes a lot of salt. Yeah, maybe so. he, he's better at this than me. I don't really... I sense nothing with this. But I, uh, honestly... It's not neither good or bad. Like It's just like... It's it's just, just, it tastes like nothing to me. Yeah, it's just... Okay. I need another one. You want another one? I, can I please have another one, please? Can I have another one, please? Can I have another one? Yay! There you go. And I'll have another one, too. Yeah, no. I Honestly, I think it's just fine. You okay? Hmm. Are you trying to read? What are you trying to do? <laughs> I can't read. Yeah, no, I honestly, it's uh, to me, it's it's fine. It's not something that I would want to over consume. It's not something I would consume at all, really. Yeah. Um, for for the, I I I mean, for the it, contents of what it has, it, ingredient wise, it's good. It's I guess fine. So. It's perfect. It's perfectly fine. I mean, it's all right. Uh, like, it if could I, be better. Yeah. It if, could be. It could be improved. If there was no food left on Earth and this was the last thing to eat, yeah, I, I'd probably consume it for a little while. Yeah, for a little I, bit. 
is it in my top 100 foods? No. No, definitely not. Uh, but it, um, it, it's if is I it, is to... it better than eating cookies and, and yes. binging and being an idiot? Yeah, hundred percent. Sure. I what I would use this for is like a last minute thing. If you, if yeah, you, like, like on, if you're on the road and you need to eat something, yeah, I guess you'll have this. Like, let's say you had a meal earlier in the day, and you're in, you're still within your eight hour window. Let's say you're at work and you're taking a break, and you have you you just so happen to have some of these. I say definitely have an ounce and and eat them if you're if you're a little hungry still. It'll you know you'll get in a little bit more calories and you'll right. you know it'll still be healthier than you know some other bullshit that you could be eating at work, um, which is always a good thing. You don't want to compromise yourself just because you're hungry, right? And so I feel like having this isn't like the, it's not the greatest thing, but it, but it's the best uh, worst thing that you can have probably. Probably I do find this better than the uh, crisps that we had. Um, if, if you saw that video, I'll have it in the cards. I feel like this is a lot better than that one, in my opinion, at least, especially ingredient wise, like the only real red flag is the oil. Um, but having the Himalayan salt, which is perfect. Chickpeas are perfectly fine. It's just the oils that are just annoying. And there's like, there's like almost no sugar in this thing whatsoever, which is, you know, a, an awesome plus. So like carb, carb wise, I probably... If you if you're trying to really count it, your yeah. carbs, it is still 15 grams of yeah. carbs. So be wary when you're consuming this. Make yeah. sure you have it definitely in moderation. Do not eat the whole bag. Just be wary about what you're it, eating. Yeah, because if you're if you're really into counting your carbs and stuff, you definitely want to make sure that you take if you want to have these in your you know in your day to day. Definitely make sure you're taking them into account of like you know dealing with the carbohydrates. If you're only trying to have let's say 30. You're already having half of your carbs for the day just by having a serving of this. So right. you just need to be careful. I'd feel better knowing that you would eat other types of carbs, like complex carbs, like we were saying in our other video with the other one, because that one had even more carbs. I'd say you're better off just having, you know, regular complex carbs. And if you wanted to have these, maybe have less than a serving, but you wouldn't be taking in as much carbohydrates from that. It'd be a little bit less. I don't really know. I guess if you had. A serving size is an ounce, so if you had like half an ounce, and you would be having like seven and a half grams of carbs. So that you know, take that into account as, as you know what you will. If you're one of those people that likes to count all those carbs, like you want to be like that person. But I mean, you know, it's got it's got a decent amount of fiber in it too, which is which is perfectly fine. If you don't get if you don't eat foods that have a lot of fiber, this will be good for you, you know your bowels. What I recommend this is like the best one of the best snacks ever. No. No, it's just, it's just okay. I guess it's there. If you have to consume something, I guess if this is laying in your closet, I guess have a couple just to satisfy you and make sure you don't binge on McDonald's or something. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so don't do anything like that. So, yeah, let us know in the comment section if you guys have tried this. Let, let us know what you think and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. But donate to the Cash App if you would like. Link in the description to support the channel. And with that said, we're going to see you guys in the next video. With you.